Hello, I'm Dr. Jerry Puleo, the President and CEO of Change Management Solutions, and I'd like to welcome you to today's mini webinar on when to manage and when to lead, the critical differences between managers and leaders. So let's start off this discussion of the differences between managerial and leadership skills by ask, answering the question, what exactly do managers do? Well, some of you might be saying, oh, I don't think they do very much, while others of you might be saying, oh, we do way too much. But what we're going to be focusing on in this particular webinar are the differences in the skill sets between managers and leaders. Managers focus primarily on resources. Now, there's four types of resources in an organization. You're probably familiar with the financial resources, those infamous budgetary restraints, as well as the people or human resources. But there's two other types of resources that managers focus on. One are the raw materials or the inputs that are used to create the company's products and services. And the other resources are those that are capital intensive. In other words, these are things like buildings and machinery. Therefore, managers focus on the input stage of the workflow and transforming resources into finished products. So if managers are focusing on resources, what do the leaders focus on? What do leaders actually do? Well, they focus on the outputs. Remember that we were talking about the inputs are transformed into the outputs? Management focuses on those inputs and the transformation of those inputs, whereas leaders are focusing on the end results or the outputs. In other words, leaders focus primarily on the destination, the goal, or the vision. But let's break this down into key differences, and we're going to be focusing on six specific differences. Managers tend to focus on the head or the brains of their subordinates or employees. In other words, managers tend to focus on process. In contrast, leaders tend to focus more on engaging the heart and emotions of their employees or their followers. So one of the primary differences between management and leadership is that managers focus on the process, whereas leaders focus on the purpose. What about the second difference? The second key difference between managers and leaders is that managers tend to be more like, well, directors. In other words, they direct the actions of other people by telling them what they should be doing. In marked contrast, leaders are more like coaches and conductors, and they inspire other people to do. So in other words, managers tell you what to do, whereas leaders inspire you to do things based on your own talents. There's a very distinct difference between these two types of uh, authorities. What about the third difference? Well, managers tend to count the value. In other words, they quantify everything that's done. It can be how many widgets come out. It can be how many people or customers that you speak to, but they're counting the value. In contrast, leaders are focused on creating value. In other words, leaders tend to not uh, enumerate what's going on, but to focus on the quality or the results of whatever it is they're creating. Put another way, Managers have a circle of power over their subordinates. They're the ones who are in charge, whereas leaders 
have more of a circle of influence over their followers. And one of the big things between leaders and managers is that to lead, you have to have followers and followers have to want to follow your lead. In contrast, managers have power over subordinates and they tell people what they're supposed to be doing. Now it's time for the fourth key difference. Managers focus on maintaining the status quo. In other words, they're working on developing repeatable processes that can be used time over time to create whatever outcome or result that they want to create. In contrast, leaders take a look at the status quo and become change agents. Leaders tend to focus on new ideas. They don't like the status quo. Let me give you an example. A repeatable process might have created an ideal goal in the past, but because of changing conditions or changes in the workforce, changes in the competitive marketplace, that process, although it might have been good in the past, leads to results that are not desirable. Leaders are the ones that come in and question what's being done and introduce new ideas. The fourth key difference is very, very much aligned with the fifth key difference. Managers focus on efficiency, or in other words, doing things in the right way. In contrast, leaders focus on efficiency effectiveness or doing the right thing. With managers focus on efficiency, there's a lot of emphasis on the cost of those resources. Remember the four resources we talked about earlier in this mini webinar. Whereas leaders tend to focus on the finish line or the end goal. It doesn't matter if the process is cost efficient and is not labor intensive. Instead, they're looking at what's the end result and is this the end result that we actually wanted? If not, the leader goes back and introduces new ideas to change the status quo and the processes so that the desired results can be achieved. The sixth and final primary difference between managers and leaders focuses on the time frame. Managers have a short-term focus. They look at the foreseeable future. In other words, they're crossing from one side of the street over to the other. But in contrast, leaders have a much broader and longer-term vision. They're looking at the distant horizon. Crossing the street is just one part of the path that leads up the mountain to the desired goal. So short-term focus, versus long-term focus. Now, you might be asking, well, aren't both of these things necessary in order to compete in today's hyper-competitive global market? The answer is yes, and that is the formula for success. Successful businesses require the skill sets of both managers and leaders. In other words, you have to look in the short term in order to get to the long term goal. You need to focus on being efficient and uh, conserving resources while at the same time making sure that you're doing the right things to achieve that goal. Managers want to maintain the status quo through repeatable processes, which are necessary because you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but leaders are not afraid to reinvent that wheel when the prior processes don't work. You have to count, you have to quantify, but by the same token, you need to qualify what the results are. And you need to both tell people what to do through your authority as well as coach them to help them become more creative and innovative. And finally, it all leads into the ideal workplace, which is a workplace that embraces the, the employees' hearts, minds, and their vision to help create a desirable future. Good luck!